All right, people, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another unboxing video. I guess you could say this is a release day unboxing, or maybe even a day early release day unboxing. I'm not 100% sure. On Best Buy, this was supposed to come out on the 2nd of October. Obviously, it's the 1st. Um, as of recording, I don't know if I'm posting this up on the 1st. I'm sure I am. Uh, but I got a day early. But that's what Best Buy says. Uh, Amazon says it doesn't even come out until, until December, so I got really early um, in Amazon's eyes. But uh, it might have already come, come out in other places because I've seen a lot of people get them already and, and use them. Uh, this is the Split Pad Compact, which, if you do not know, this is a Hori product. Uh, I think Hori makes pretty good things, especially one thing they make that I really love is the Split Pad Pro. These are Split Pad Pros. This is the, the X, what is it called again? Uh, Damon X Machina. This is the Damon X Machina version. Uh, I've had these for three years. They're a little crusty. You can see like some cuts there. That was, I, 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 let, I, let, my, I let somebody I know use them and they came back with those cuts um and uh yeah it's uh they're really great i love them i love the analog sticks these are probably legitimately i'm not even kidding some of my favorite analog sticks period i'm not even kidding i'm not even joking i'm not even joking when i say that Dude, these aren't jokes i don't joke around on this channel but i really love these analog sticks they just feel good anybody use these they're just like big and sexy but they're great so they click nice uh, the triggers are all right. They're kind of like just buttons. They don't feel like actual, like, you're, you're pulling a trigger. But they're good. And the buttons are great. They're big, nice. Uh, the things are light because they don't have really too many mechanics to them. There's no uh, vibrations. There's no, uh, obviously, there's no motion control. So you can't really take it out and then use it. Um, but uh, these are perfect handheld controllers, especially if you don't like the Joy-Cons like me. Not that I hate them. I just don't really like using them for most games you know for first person shooters there's no way in hell i'll ever use a joy con um never for smaller games like a stardew valley it's perfect perfectly fine uh but anyway this came out very excited about it uh they're just smaller versions more compact as you would assume with the title uh and these are the gray and green are they gray yeah, gray gray and yellows sorry it, on the front you can't tell if it's yellow yeah i'm sure it says it right here though no it doesn't actually it does not say the color on the front that's weird hmm. uh does it not it probably does not include the nintendo switch. it doesn't come with the switch i paid 50 bucks what a ripoff anyway light gray and yellow extra grip for the perfect fit I know what you meant. Um, and it looks like they did upgrade some things. Like, I think the D-pad might be a little bit different. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. It looks a little bit less... I don't know. This one looks a little chunky. Uh, but uh, And the buttons are smaller. They look more like a actual Joy-Con buttons. Besides these big-ass chunky ones. But uh, let's get to it. And we were really three minutes in and I haven't unboxed it yet. But I wanted to discuss the split pad pros which i think i did an unboxing for when i first got these i'm, I'm pretty sure i did um I it wrong but uh pretty sure i did all right let's get them these are 50 bucks by the way i'm not endorsed by hori so don't buy them if you want to uh let's uh get them out okay so here they are big ass instruction manager jesus boom there they are baby i actually like the yellow the other color was I wasn't like the biggest fan of them. Yeah, I think downgrading the thumbstick, I already feel like they feel more like Joy Cons now. But, but saying that does not mean they are like Joy Cons exactly. So we'll see. I'm going to put them to the test. But anyway, here they are. Wait, hold on. There's a hair on my screen. Anyway. <laughs> some a little asmr for you uh so here you go there they are right there you got the little yellow trim almost i mean it's the inside like if you look at it like this it almost looks like it has like a, a trim but it's just because you can point that uh i like that i mean it's pretty much just white it's like it's barely even gray i mean light gray i guess it's kind of white anyway but uh they look pretty nice actually i really like these um look wise now let, let's compare them to a split pad pro I should do these first person, but you know me, I'm not, I've only done these unboxings for years and I still don't know how to do them. Uh, but uh, here we go. Just compare them like this. You can see they're definitely skinnier, more compact, as you would assume. Uh, and uh, I don't think they're skinnier. I think they're probably, no, they're a little skinnier. They're a little skinnier, mainly because of this big chungus thing right here, uh, which is still there, but uh, it's just smaller. 
Um, so they are definitely smaller, a little bit more compact. The button on the back is actually bigger, which I love this button, by the way. I didn't even mention that. I always program this as whatever the jump button is uh, for any game I'm playing. I love pressing the back button for the jump. But this button actually ooh, has like a clickier feel to it. This one? I guess you... No. This one just feels a little bit cheaper. Like when you press it, this one actually feels like a legit button you're pressing. This one, I don't know, there's something about that one that doesn't feel exactly right. I mean, I love it, don't get me wrong, but uh, all right, let's uh, put these bad boys in. Bad boys, bad little boys. Let's get them. Oh, I got a little dust on my uh, switch. All right, so here it is with the switch. There you can see my computer. See all the naughty things I've been looking up. It's just myself. <laughs> I am pretty naughty. So anyway, let's turn this on. Here you go, I'm playing uh, Splatoon 3. Uh, no, I do not want to update anything, but uh, there you go. That's what it looks like with the switch. Let's feel it. Ooh. Oh, actually. Oh, 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 that feels good. All right. I'm not going to lie. That feels good. The, the triggers. Why do I keep calling them triggers? This is like the third time I tried to record this unboxing and I keep calling the analog sticks triggers. The analog sticks feel great. Oh, the tr I didn't even realize the triggers feel more like triggers. You can see they actually push down a little bit where these ones, did I mention that? I mean, I guess they kind of do too, but they feel just like the back button. They feel less like a, less like what they're supposed to feel like. This feels more like just a button. This one actually feels, even though it's the same thing, this one for some reason feels more like a trigger. I'm wasting all my paint in Splatoon. You know what? We're going to go first person for the rest of this. All right. So this is what it looks like in first person. Uh, sorry for like, maybe not the best lighting here, but, uh, this is kind of impromptu. I was just like, no, nah, I, got, I got to do it. So this is what it looks like. Uh, it feels great. It really does, actually. I really like the way it feels. The buttons feel good. B, A. Yeah, everything feels good. Oh, I like how clicky the the pause. Oh, I, I don't like how hard you have to really push it in, though. Well, that, that might just be the, the plus sign one. That one you actually have to, it, like, really dig into. This one, not so much. It's weird because uh, the the regular split pad pro you could see like look how how much further it is out there so you don't need to really like dig into it but look look how much it's pushed into the controller there you see that so uh that's weird the d-pad uh, actually mm, no, the d-pad feels about the same i think uh, i feel it has a different texture to it but uh the d-pad's not the best on the split pad pro but i don't play m most of my games with the d-pad anyway uh yeah that feels good uh turbo of course if you want to do turbo if you're confused you just hold this button and then press any of the buttons you want so if you want the back button to be i mean i'm not turbo i'm sorry assign i'm an idiot turbo is just if you want to make the button what does they do yeah you just hold the a button and then it'll just keep clicking it you know what a turbo button is um a sign is when you want the back button to be your whatever button so i made it b you just hold that and then press one of the buttons and then now you can, oh, I have to get out of this for it to work. There you go. See, now you can use the back button to jump. I love the back button. I wish you could program things for the other side. Like if you want, uh, like, I don't know, up on the D-pad, be the back button on the right uh, controller, then I wish you could do that. But uh, these are, they're not connected to one another. So uh, that's uh, impossible. Uh, so anyway, there you go. Uh, this is what it looks like on the back too. I guess I should show that. What it looks like nice 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 Ooh, nice ooh, nice ooh, nice i can't believe it's been almost a year since the oled came out um well actually i think it's been a little over a year but i got it around october so it's been almost a year um unless it was the first and anyway these look great and they feel great i'm and it's it's actually lighter as you would expect for it to be a smaller device um it feels almost as heavy as it does with a joy con now and these are better than joy cons i'm sorry i i I just, I have to say that these are great. Uh, so anyway, there you go. That is that. Uh, they're 50 bucks. Uh, I would recommend them, especially since Joy-Cons are like, what are they, like 70 for two of them or something or 80 for two of them. Um, you, you don't have vibrations. Like I said, that sucks. I really like the HD rumble. Um, and of course, can't use these off the system. But if you're a big handheld person and you're like, Joy-Cons, they're just not for me. Th these are great. I love them. I really do. So uh, there you go. That is that. I guess it's a review kind of also. But uh, there you go. That's that. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you until next time. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.